Hi, welcome back to another Archicad Speed Modeling Tutorial by ASM Tech Base. My name is Carsten Endy. Join the ASM Tech Base email list for newsletters and future updates. Okay, in this tutorial, I'd like to show you uh, like a curved building facade. The facade is might uh, not be curved straight in that way. It's pretty flat there, but it's curved everywhere else. So what we look into is how we create this model and also splitting up the materials as you can see. So that's wood there, nicely round and we add a couple of handrails. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I start with an empty file um, and have drawn up my shapes with just normal. Uh, I used lines, I used arcs and for this one here, I used a spline. I added some fills for this tutorial to understand better um, which part of the model I create for you. I have this as a reference on my ground floor plan, but I also put it into my A1 section. So maybe I put this over here just for now quickly so you can see. I do create, as example, the green piece here, which is this one. I'm starting off with that. Then we create the red one which is this one here and the yellow one down here is just a normal window wall really and the part at the back right up here this blue one is set back so i think this is quite good this way you understand what i'm doing all right let's move this back let's start up with the green um, part first for this i use a morph and the settings are just pretty straightforward. Make sure you have material. Um, some of those settings I'll show you in a minute because it's quite, depending what you do with this setting here, they look quite different and it's a bit hard to model this up. So I, I tell you in a minute. So do all this. I put those ones on my walls external layer, hit OK, and now I draw along. Now you can use this and you just click obviously and draw along here all the way there and there and there i've got the fill in here let's me let me try if i can just space click there you go so i can space click at the moment because i've got the fill in there but if you don't have to fill just trace along with your uh, morph tool and just make sure you wrap this up let me do the same thing for this one here and this one here all right great so if i go into 3d now we have three flat pieces let's have a look there we go all of them you see they're not very smooth so let's do this first so we select all of them and we change the segmentation so you go in here and we just double them see it's a bit better let's do it one more time double it again so we go here double Okay, so I think that's quite smooth now. Next part is obviously we have to now stretch them. So you click in here. I can try both of them. I haven't tried that before. Let's have a quick look. And you choose this one here. Yeah, this works. Now for now, I move this back um, four meter. There we go. You just put in four, enter, and you have them like this. Let's do the same with this one here and we move this back also i could have done the same but just to show you four meter okay great so i've got those three pieces let's have a look how they show up in the floor plan okay see that's what i wanted to show you because it looks it, well not funny but they just show up differently so if i go as example i'm on the ground floor i'll go up a floor you can still see some bits and pieces of the morph now this is up to you how do you want to show them but let's just select one of those and i'll show you quickly the difference it makes so it's mainly really the cutting you know so i've got it on the cut only but let's just do it protect with overhead and let's see what happens okay then you can see that's where the cut goes through let me have a look at the uh i'll use that cutting plane there it is so it's cutting at 1150 millimeter above the ground floor 
this cut here. So that cut is 1150 is around here, roughly. Let's let's measure that quickly. So click there. Yeah, so it's it's rough. It's roughly there. It cuts this way. Okay. So that's this piece here, and as you can see, that's where it cuts, and the cut is shown white without fill, and the rest of the morph is shown as solid. So I think you can work this out yourself what fits best. Let's actually go up a level and see how it looks there now. See, it looks like this. And I think that's quite nice. You can then see the whole um, morph element like this. So I think this is not a bad idea. So let's go back down and we do this with the other ones too. So that's this one here. And that one I can't even see. I have to do that on the next floor. So let's change this to there. Okay, and I have to go up and we do the same thing with this one. Again, this is, a, you know, everybody does it differently. This is just a lot. Uh, I thought I'd show you this. And, um, you know, it's up to you how you want to set it for your own projects. Okay, that's great. Let's have a quick look. Actually, I should really copy that one out. Uh, so I know what I'm doing on the ground floor. So let's go back here and paste this in. Again, it's a bit easier to explain what I'm doing. Okay, because the one with they're all four meters in, in depth or width, and you can see here, that's the four meter one, but I have longer here, I've got six meter here. So I wanna extend this by two, and this one you can see goes in line with that one so i have to move that back so let's move that one back first so i just drag this one back so that's the four meters that's good and this one i have to extend based on in 3d just going to 3d and let's just turn around and add another two meters to the back so let's just add two and we go down Okay, so that looks now the way I like to look at. Great. Next bit before I continue is let's change the material in here to wood. The same with that and the same over there. So what you do is you select the morph and you just click on one of those faces in here, hold the mouse down and you go to this one here, custom face setting and in here, I change this one to a wood. I've got a wood here, over there, and only to the clicked face. You can, I haven't tried all similar faces. Let's try all similar faces, but I got it. No, I don't, because it will go outside too. Ah, let's just do it and see what happens. Yeah, see, that's not very good. Fair enough, let's do that again. So you just go and add this wood to clicked face only. Okay, now you have to click on this one, do the same. There we go. It's quite easy actually, it looks nice. Done. So let me do the next one quickly. Okay, I think that looks pretty nice. Great, so we can continue with our model. So we got those three parts of the model. Let's go back and ground floor. And we do the next one. There you go. Maybe I should also put one in here. Nice. Let me add now the slabs first. So again, it's just simple slab. Um, I add my concrete first, 300, I put it on floors. And let's just start drawing the first one. You will see, as you know, I always do a lot in 3D. So I just actually somewhere start here like that. And I'm going to 3D. I can see where it is. Okay, so this one quite easy. I just extend over here. Let's just extend to around there. And you can see that one I want as wood. So let's move this there. Okay, that means I can uh, drag a copy and we go there and we Move us probably roughly to there. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, perfect. And the top I want on my wood, which is there. See, nice. And we do the next one. 
this one we can just no I want the no, got a gold slab to select this and we just drag a copy and go all the way over here let's have a look there we go now we're gonna be careful here because I drew a lot and if I extend this now it's going there I don't want that so let's move this from roughly there and we just take this one to there okay I think that again that looks quite good so far and yes I went a little bit far here so let's go down here and show the above story as trace reference yeah I thought so and we move this back to there Great, so looking at this and then looking at what I've got here, that looks pretty similar. As you can see, I curved this one and I went backwards. So let me do this. We take this one all the way back. I think I've made this longer too, if I remember. Let's make this longer. Um, let's make this one six or actually eight, I had it eight. So let, let me undo this, hang on a second. There we go, and, and add, yes, eight. That is better. Great, so I've got that, and that would be nice. Round this up, just to make it look nice, and we go one meter, that will do, I think. Yes, perfect. Safe in between, important. And then we go back to the next step. So we got the floors in here and that one, that one, that one. Now I need, as you can see, to copy this one and this one back. So let's do that first. This one here, you just drag a copy. There you go. And the same here, we drag a copy. And that one needs to extend. Let's do that in 3D, go around. And I like to extend this one. So we hit here and we go, hang on a second, I have to make sure I'm in the right one here. And the same with this one. Let's extend that one. Okay, let's try that. Okay, now those ones I want in concrete. So you have to quickly select those ones and put them back to concrete. Actually, see this one, I could really do it a lot now, watch this, because I want them all in concrete. So that's much easier, concrete and all faces. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Same here, and we just change them back to concrete, all faces, done. Beautiful. Turn around. Okay, looking good. Next bit is we just copy this one. Let's just drag a copy. You can do it on the ground floor, that's fine. But you know me, I like working in 3D. It's more enjoyable, at least for me. And this one all the way. Hang on a second. I didn't want to do this. Yeah, exactly. I need to copy this, don't I? Great, and again, I want them all concrete. All right, that looks very good. We will do this one in the moment. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Okay, next one is I need to draw a wall there to finish the ground floor off and before we go to the next floor. Okay, just a normal wall. Um, it's 3800, 200 wide, concrete one. Walls external, I got 3800 because my level to level is four meters and I like to have it 200 mil below the slab level of the next floor. Great, let's have a quick look if I can see what I did here. I did a setback, there we go. So let's set that back by, um, 
y one meter plus yeah I think that's about right go there x one zero minus and all the way to there okay yeah it looks good to me this one has to be extended as you can see so let's just extend that a bit there we go a little bit more let's do this in 3d to make sure i really go under there yeah that's better now a quick solid element operation target element is already selected and we go and add the operator element and we use subtraction with upward extrusion execute there you go yeah all good you can see the next bit is i do the windows together in a moment i have to add the slabs of stairs so let's go up take this one and maybe i gotta go there too i can select them uh, copy and we just move that up there we go close this for now in 3d so i move them up copy them up there you go and we can adjust them now let's go back here as you can see this one goes back this one goes probably halfway and then we have another one concrete at the back yeah all right so level one i have this one at the back so this one i can move all the way to the back there we go and the next one i think that's correct just leave it there perfect and this one up here obviously i have to oh, this could be good too let's have a quick look yeah all right not quite of course because here we have to move back so and this one you just move there oh that one is not very nice either let's move that bit there yeah i like it great now again similar here you just drag a copy great that looks pretty good already let me do first before i do the glass and the handrail i like to add the back plate how do we do that easiest way is we go to this section here because it's now easier to trace along so i'll take my morph tool and let's just start tracing. Okay, now you see how the, the resolution is again bad. So we do this twice, just do exactly the same. We go and modify segmentation, double segments. And let's do it again, like we did before. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this will look much more smooth now. So in 3D, this will be somewhere. It will be where the section is. I got the section drawn here, so that's all good. All we do is let's draw that, or better, move that back here. Turn around. And we just give this a thickness, uh, 200 okay let's move all the slabs out okay i think that looks nice clean smooth all sealed off let's do the glass or the yeah glass glass is good all right stop this from happening great so the Glass I did actually where the round ones in here, the glasses go over here. I used the curtain wall. And for this down here, just normal windows. All right, let's go back in here. Curtain wall, again, up to you, the settings. I just have some very simple settings in here. The frame, the glass. And I did turn off the boundary frame. As you can see, hit OK. 
there's no frame out you see there's no frame okay so let's go into our a1 you gotta be up here on this one and we should be able to use the space click let's see sometimes we can't find it uh we'll have to look in what we do but let's just give it a go first so see this goes all the way up here which is fine but i'm not sure where it stops yeah not good i have a feeling the back plate is a little bit of a problem so let's select the back plate and for now put it on 2d drawing and i have that turned off in this layer setting uh, let's try again and um, curtain wall no it's not gonna work so let's show you the solution that definitely will work back to our working drawing and we take all the fills and we just drag them up i'll show you what to do in a moment there you go and let me get a line and what you do is let's draw this line and draw another one okay and we drag this up from here to here <sighs> let's see if Archicad can recognize this from now Kurt Moore all right that's better very nice but see that what happens now and that's why you sometimes have to actually draw the morph first that's a little tip now because the morph is there the curtain wall will go along there hopefully okay let's try now with the curtain wall here ah it still takes this into consideration but look that's okay let me do this i'll show you so we can take the morph Put that one in i need that one and let me have a quick look what did i do here yeah button yeah i got them split up so that's cool so this one and this one so what we're going to do is now we take those morphs drag them up and now we do our curtain wall pretty sure it, <laughs> pretty sure it worked uh, let, let me do it quickly. I, i'm sure it will work All right, morph. Let's see what is behind the morphs. Morph, 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 morph. Funny name, morph, I think. All right, I like it. See, there you go. There's always a solution. Just gotta find it. Let's drag them down. Okay, this looks pretty good. I quite like it. Um, yeah, I should have moved even further down, don't I? A bit high up at the moment. All right, let's keep going down. Yes, 3D. Nice, very nice. Okay, we are down to our floor. Let's go ground floor. Yes, again, try to remember. The first one I moved in here, I can see it by a meter. That's probably by two, and this all the way back there. So let's do this one first. That looks nice, very nice. Let me add quickly some windows here. That's very simple, obviously. Let's go down. Ah, cool. Round window, how do we do this? There is a special round window in ArchiCAD and we go to special windows, curved windows. Now, you see that's a different uh, color frame. Now, what you do is I've used this one. I go back in and I want to take those attributes which are set into this special window. So just hold on the PC, you hold down. Control Alt and you can actually give it to that one. There you go. Same size, same height, 
everything is the same. Obviously I don't need it that big, but the frame is the same material. Now make this a bit smaller and see how we can put that window in. All right. Great. And we should be able to hopefully move that and this way. Yes, looking good. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's add some handrails. Again, I use a simple handrail. Okay, that looks pretty good, but let's add something more. I really like to add some gaps in here. That would be very nice when the sun comes through. So let's do this quickly. That won't take long at all. For this exercise, I have to move my section a bit into position here. And I just like to add a couple of gaps. What I do is, it's where again, it's for the cutting it, we will use the morph and I'll just draw something by eye. See, I just go like this. That will do. And what I want to do here is add another polygon. We just click in here. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. Drag it a little bit there and no, that's good. Let's have a look in 3D. We want to obviously extend this now because we will easy cut this off. Let's go in here. That should be long enough. Yep, yeah, that'll be good. And I want to move this here. Let's have a quick look. Ah, needs a bit longer because I really want to cut all the way to the top here. Nice. Back to our elevation tool and let's just distribute a couple. Let's do six and we do this again. X 500 minus. Let's see. That could look pretty good. I'm still in design mode, so let's see what happens. We take this, I move this to my cutting elements and we use our SEO operate elements, select this one, target and yeah, subtraction. Great and export. Looks great. Let's have a look what happens when the sun goes here. Where are we here? Oops, a bit higher. Yes, that's what I thought would happen. That is cool. If you render stuff up like this, that starts to look pretty nice. See? Yeah, I love it. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be back next time. Bye for now.